what is going on everybody welcome back to another video we are uh yet again going after some wild trout i believe brown trout i think that's the only thing in this creek we're gonna walk down a little bit try to find an area to walk into the creek then we're gonna fish our way up under a couple bridges and then we're gonna get into the woods and i think the woods section is gonna be really good i don't think a lot of people go up there should be a pretty good day be sure to smash that like button for me it really helps these videos reach more people don't hesitate to leave a comment. I reply to pretty much every comment. So yeah, be sure to leave a comment. Uh, I love talking to you guys, so let's get to uh, doing some fishing. Before we start fishing, I just wanted to go over with you guys what I'm using today. I have the Shimano Stimula again, ultra light, as usual. Black and yellow Panther Martin. And I also have this attached to a ball bearing swivel with uh, six pound fluorocarbon coming off the swivel. Um, the main line is braid, but I feel like uh, I feel like using the fluorocarbon with the ball bearing swivel has really been key, especially because some of these creeks are so clear. And uh, I just think it's been making a world of difference as far as hookups. So we're gonna get the fish and it's starting to rain harder, so. Gonna start working our way upstream here and uh, hopefully we get into some good fish today. Ooh, ooh, don't fall. So yeah. The creek looks really good. Um, crystal, crystal clear. It's unbelievable how clear this is. But it should be, should be pretty good for trout. Just gotta find the holes and where they're sitting. Oh, there we go. There we go. What do we got? A little brownie. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ouch, ouch. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, oh, no, not yet, buddy. Wow. Look at that. That's beautiful. See, dude? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, he came out from underneath that bush there and just smacked it. There must be quite a few in there. There we go. Another little guy. Little guys are still fun to catch though. Aye, aye, aye. Those fish are just beautiful. So what I'm doing here to be able to get there underneath this bush. And I'm trying to reel real slow. So the, my line kind of goes underneath the bush. All right. Let's see if we can get one out of this hole here. It looks pretty good. Ooh. Like I said it looks pretty good. Might have been my bite. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, a jumper. Oh, we got off, guys. That's a decent trout. All right. Let's see if we can pull. Shoot. I need to have like just the perfect cast. Wasn't really it. Try to get out here a little more. Need to have a really good cast. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh my God! I just got broken off. Oh. Son of a bitch! Oh. And I seen that fish swimming around. The lure is in the fish's mouth. That's a clean, clean break. That was a good fish. Oh, crap. That sucks. I was not expecting a trout to break six pound test. I, I'm sure it was probably frayed and that kind of probably, that more than likely was the cause of the break. I just hope that lure fell out of his mouth or something. Maybe it's just hanging out the side. Just hope he didn't get all the treble hooks in there. I feel terrible. I don't know what else I could possibly do. And he just, he came out of nowhere. I knew, I, I figured there's got to be a fish in this hole. It's a really good hole, but 
I was not ready for a fish to come out like that and just murder the freaking lure. I'm gonna put this camera away. I've been trying to fish with it versus just using the GoPro, but it's really raining pretty hard. And my wife would kill me if I destroyed this camera. Oop, there we go. Lots of little guys in here. Woo-hoo. Hey, buddy. Ooh, there we go. Nice fish, nice fish. Got the hands. Hands are good and wet. There he is. I, I would call that, ooh, see you, buddy. I would call that biggest one of the day so far. I definitely, I think I got a wet foot. My foot feels a little wet, guys. Not too happy about it. These are relatively new waders. I shouldn't even have to question whether or not my foot's wet, but anybody else ever throw these at people? They stick to you like crazy. This is like, uh, I call them Velcro balls. I love throwing these things at people. It sticks to you like instantly. So now we're kind of getting into some, in my opinion, better area. Kind of in the woods now. Before we were just along a, a trail, essentially. And by the way, if anybody was wondering, my waders are leaking. I've determined I have a wet foot. It's not a lot, but it's wet. There we go. Oh, okay, buddy. Whew. Another nice, healthy little fish. There's got to be a pretty decent sized fish in this creek. Um, you know, over 12 inches. Because I just, I'm confident that there's a big fish in here. I mean, up until the other day, I didn't even know this creek had any kind of life in it. None whatsoever. I never knew it. This isn't even labeled a, a Class A stream or anything. This is just a creek. Runs, runs right through town. So really, I mean, it's pretty freaking nice so far. Check out these, uh, these giant, I mean, it's just a giant rock. It's cool. This doesn't feel like I'm, you know, four or five miles away from home. How crazy is that? That tree's literally growing right in the middle of the creek. Oh, I hear the road guys. We're getting into, hopefully, a pretty good section here. Again, I really don't, I don't know if anyone fishes up here. I just don't know. Uh, like I've been saying, this creek is not a class A wild trout stream. Actually, I found it off of Fish Brain. They were giving away a month for free. So I signed up because then you can look at the catch locations. And uh, of course I started you know, around my house looking around like that i see this creek i've always known this creek's here and i see somebody having a trout oh there was one hold there we go little guy i see a guy holding up a trout a really nice trout really much bigger than this see you buddy so yeah much bigger than uh the fish that i just caught and i'm thinking man what are the chances this creek has wild brown trout so i came here today figure that out what do you know it's got wild brown trout all right now boys now we're traveling where other people don't Little guy. Lots of little guys. Probably why this is not a class A stream just because of their size, I would imagine. So above all, like 
All right, so this already isn't a Class A trout waters. They, uh, the state also has a PDF thing that you can look at, and it'll tell you, oh, it'll tell you what streams have wild trout reproduction in them. This one doesn't even have, it's not even listed. I mean, to be perfectly honest, had it not been for fish brain, I probably never would be fishing here. Oh, this looks good in here, boys. Golly, does that look good. Looks deep. Ooh. Bunch of trout just came out and hit it. There's, they're all small. Oh, there we go. Just another little guy. Oh, sorry, buddy. Hell of an awesome hole. Ooh, there we go. That's a good fish. That is a good fish, guys. Whew, biggest one of the day. Here we go. Okay, okay. Oh. There we go. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is unbelievable. Beautiful fish. Wow. All right, well, that's creepy. There's a bicycle here. Looks like it's been here for a while. I wonder if it's stolen. <laughs> right there. Don't that look like a cut? I don't know. Just gonna keep going up. Get away from the stolen bike. Go up. Ooh, wow. There's the one. There we go. That wasn't even a big one. Oh, he got off. Wow. There's a big one that came out. Wow. Ooh. Oh my. Wow. There's some giant fish in here. And they are hitting it hard. Wish I could get them to bite, but these wild trout are so smart. Wow, this looks really good, guys. We're gonna catch a trout out of here. Mark my words. Wow, this hole here is just money. It's gotta be money. It's so deep underneath this bank though. And I just guessed it right over that. It's a very sandy bottom in here, which I'm not a big fan of. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna do something before we blow this hole out. I'll show you guys in a minute when we get there. The water's feeding in over here and then kind of snaking around. I'm gonna try to get up here and cast from up top. It might work, I don't know. I just gotta find a way to get up there, I guess. Hoo wee Well, someone else has fished here. Not much I can guarantee, because there's a fishing line going down there. It's a good hole, but again, so hard to fish. Oh my God. That was a 20 incher. We just had the 20 incher in this hole on. Oh my God. I, I can't fish it from up here. I'll never get them in. I'm telling you guys, I just saw a 20 incher. Oh my God, that was a big fish. But I can tell you right now, I will be back and I will try to catch this fish if we don't catch it today. He's not gonna bite again though. Fish like that don't get big by biting twice. He's got nibbled by something, I don't know what. That is, that is heartbreaking. Well, I can tell you right now, we will be back. I gotta come back and try to catch this fish. And I mean, it's just, it's the perfect hole. It's deep, it's dark. Fish like that can just grow in there and feed and grow. I shoulda, shoulda never went up top there. Another successful day on the creek. I hope you guys are enjoying all these creek fishing missions. I am. I hope you guys are too. Oh, I got soaked today. Wet foot. Lost two spinners. So. But we did find what could be 
a 20 inch brown trout in this tiny little creek. That would be awesome to be able to go back and catch him. So I'm almost back to the truck. Uh, if you haven't already, leave a like, comment. If you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. Until next time, peace.